Hello SnowRunners, welcome back to the channel. So today we're playing some Season 10 PTS, public test server, and I wanted to make a little video about the new ferry system that the developers implemented into the game. And when I use the word system, that's an exaggeration. Um, what they've done is a poor job in my opinion. And I wanted to share this with you guys and maybe you can let me know your thoughts. Um, and you can, you know, have a sort of educated, educated guess and opinion about, um, about what this ferry system is going to look like. So once you unlock the ferry in the game via the mission, which requires you to deliver a couple of consumables back to the garage. Once you've done that, uh, this little zone opens next to your garage, which is basically like a gateway. So once you enter the zone, you'll be prompted to pay 750 in-game credits to to go to the other to go to the other shore via ferry but what happens is basically it's just like a gateway you teleport from one shore to the other and that's it the ferry doesn't move the, there isn't even an animation for it your truck is never seen on board and quite frankly this is a a lazy sort of a lazy way to design the system and let's go back look all you have is Duncan Bay in the top left corner and your truck's back at the garage I mean the map is lovely the don't get me wrong the British Columbia this map looks probably the best I would actually go on a limb and say this is the best map uh, that I've played so far but you know this ferry system I don't know guys I don't know I'm pretty sure they could have done a better job with it and it's a little bit disappointing to see. When I first heard, ab heard about ferries coming to the game, I was super excited. But this is uh, a little bit a little bit under underwhelming, to to say the least. And the other thing is the the positioning of this um, of this ferry, right? It's literally next to the garage, and I can see the other shore. And just to the right of the ferry, there's this little little island and I got my stopwatch running here on how long it's gonna take me to cross this through this little island to the other shore I mean yes Kenworth is a is a very capable truck but most of the trucks that have mud tires uh, even some trucks with the off-road tires I'm sure they won't struggle too much so if I'm playing a hard mode hell no I won't be paying 750 every time I had to cross that I'm just gonna use this um, I'm not going to use the ferry, I'm just going to use this crossing, which, as you can see in the video, it's, uh, it's fairly easy to cross. And in total, that my timer showed, it took me like 50 seconds to cross this, so I'm not saving a lot of time. It makes no sense to use it. It's not even cool, it's poor, poorly implemented, so, you know, what's the, what's the reason for me to use the ferry? So that first ferry is on a Duncan Bay, on a first map of British Columbia. But there's also a second map um, of British Columbia and that has, as you can see in a picture, that has a big or huge even body of water. And the ferry system, even if it's poorly implemented, it, it would be much more useful in this second map of British Columbia region. Um, you know, it would, even if it's like lazy, lazy design or whatever, you know, at least it would be useful, actually it would have a purpose and it would save you a lot of time, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, driving around the lake. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense in the first map and the second map where it would make some sense, it's not there. I want to believe, I really want to hope that they will add the ferry system to, to the second map, but in all honesty, guys, I'm not... Uh, I'm not that confident that they will. It really is a shame that they haven't done that. And looking at the the ferry model up close, uh, it looks like you know it, it could have maybe even a couple of trucks with like semi trailers in it. There's enough space in it, and it seems like um, it's such such a such a nice like design or the model of the of the ferry that it would really suit this map. But it's just not functioning. It's not functional at all. So. That makes me a little bit sad, but on the other hand, on the upside, guys, this map is absolutely amazing. The verticality of the map is beautiful. It has loads of nice um, scenic places and points of interest, and I haven't even been to the to the second map yet. So, yeah, absolutely, guys, um, something to look forward to. 
hopefully they'll do something about the fairies. Um, if they don't, then you know this. This is just one more thing that gets added to the ever growing list of things that doesn't get fixed but enough complaining for from me for one day hopefully you found this video informative guys uh, let me know what do you think about the fairy in the comment sections down below see you in the next one take care